a new chance to save money if you immediately stop this video now. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. Also this time I have to split the mailbag into two parts. The second part will air next Thursday. In the first part you will see a lot of RFID stuff, a voice recorder for Arduinos, sensors, a very low power chip, a new PCB for the rack gateway, piezo elements for energy harvesting and a surprise from one of my viewers. A new packet, something quite big. Plastic key rings, but these key rings are not normal key rings. They have a number on it. They have some content also in it and I hope this is the other part which is necessary. Doesn't look like obvious what it is. So let's read the manual. <laughs> no language I speak. It's a Russian, I think it's a Russian manual from China. Interesting. New constellations in the new world. The Russians with the Chinese. Whatever. But I think I know what it is. It is a RFID reader which should work together with this keychain. Next one. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I think I know what it is. Same thing. But maybe different. This is probably a different frequency because you get RFID chips on different standards and on different frequency. Recently I got also this one here and these here. You can stick them somewhere on a surface and all of them have pretty much the same purpose. They are all RFID tags. So you see I'm preparing a RFID video in the next time. I did not use this technology so far but I think it is interesting and I thought I want to get an overview about the different technologies and standards and also show you how it works. The next one is also a little bit bigger and it's also a RFID reader. But this one is for a mounting to a wall. This seems to be also a long range sensor. Maybe it has a little bit a bigger antenna and you do not need to put the RFID chip immediately on the surface here. We will see. The next one is already opened. It contains electronic parts. Who would have thought about electronics parts in this lab? This is also a RFID reader. This one is something completely different. This contains a small loudspeaker, extremely thin, so I can imagine how bad this will sound. <laughs> but this is an interesting part. It should be able to synthesize some speech or store some speech. It has a microphone and with this loudspeaker you can rec record something and then you can select which one to play and this can be used together with ESP32s or with, um, with Arduinos and so on. So I bought this to experiment a little bit with a, a speaking device. We will see. No particular idea for the moment. The next one is very, very small, very thin, probably integrated circuit. 
Oh, a small sensor. It is an 8511. This chip contains a ML8511 UV sensor with voltage output. It measures ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B rays and provides a analog output. Why did I buy this? Because one of my viewers suggested to look once also to measure the UV light in the area because he says that uh, this is more and more an interesting thing and I thought I want to, to try it out once. Next one, small package. <laughs> a huge package for a very small thing. And it gets even smaller. They are just chips. Ten pieces, obviously. <laughs> Extremely small chips. And here you see it. It's TPL5110. And these are interesting chips. With this very low power chip you can switch on and off a microcontroller. And I plan to do a real low energy deep sleep concept with uh, this chip. We will see how this works. Next one. Quite a small module with an antenna. Here a battery and specialists know that this has to be a, ah, it's written here, a GPS module. This small GPS module can be used with the new gateway PCB of Charles Allard for the rack gateway. And here we have something which is similar to these. These are credit card sized RFID tags. They are often used in hotels, for example, like this one. By the way, a very nice hotel in the southern part of uh, Switzerland. This is the same size. And also this one has a RFID chip in it, like this one. The next one is also unpackaged. It is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus, so this is the newest version. And I bought one because my last Raspberry Pi was in this Crow Pi device I gave to the colleague's uh, son, so I had to have a, a new one. The next one is also cardboard package. Very well packaged, nearly nothing in it. Incredible, incredible, incredible. This is all what's inside this huge package. So logistics from China are, is really nearly free of charge. They are also RFID chips and we see here the antenna around it and here the chip. Another possibility for RFID chips. So you see I have quite a selection now of these different RFID tags. This is good for experimenting. The things are not really expensive. They are dirt cheap actually. Um, so it was not a big thing to buy a selection to play around with it. So you see my knife is really dirty now so it's time to clean it. With alcohol of course. So it's okay. You see alcohol is a very good concept as long as it's not too much. Next one. Even the date is written on it. 6 June 2018. But no clue what's inside. Ah, a similar thing I think than before. Also a RFID reader to be mounted to a wall. It is 12 volt or at least it's written 12 volt. And we see here by the way an interesting material. This is material which 
also could probably be used to seal our humidity sensors. Very nice material and completely tight here. So maybe I have to order once a little bit of this material to seal the, the homemade moisture sensors. Everything what is necessary comes with it, also the connector. The next one, cables, oh, not only cables, lots of different stuff. You see what it is? These are all piezo elements. These are already connected. So you just solder a wire on both sides. And here I have to solder it myself. I have different sizes and you can imagine why I bought this. This is for my energy harvesting project. I bought a small module which should be capable to use the energy produced from these pressure sensitive piezo elements and drive something with a very small power consumption. So maybe it can be used with this integrated circuit to save energy. We will see, but they somehow belong together. The next one also does not need opening. It came from the United Kingdom and it was sent by one of my viewers, MR, and uh, he writes here that he likes my videos and he cannot use Patreon, so he sent me this package. So we will see what's in here. A TTGO T-Beam ESP32. I do not know exactly what this is. I do not think I have one in my collection. Oh, it has an antenna and a GPS antenna, I assume. Oh, it is a LoRa module, an ESP32 and a GPS module. Never saw this. And a LiPo battery here. Very interesting device. I have to check how, how it can be used because I really do not have it in my, uh, in my selection. Looks good. And the, oh, the LoRa antenna and the GPS antenna. The next one looks like something I know. It is a TTGO LoRa 32 2.1 version. Actually, I only have the 2.0 version, so I can check then what the difference is between the 2.0 and the 2.1 version. It looks similar. It has a LoRa module here, but I, if I remember right, this SMA connector is different. It's the same as here, but the 2.0 did not have, if I remember right, did not have this one here. Maybe I will do a comparison between the 2.1 and the 2.0. The 2.0 version seems to be much better than the 1.0, which did not have a module, which just had the LoRa chips soldered on the PCB. Thank you very much, Mark, for your surprise. It will be in good hands here, I'm sure. This is the end of part one. Part 2 will contain exciting stuff like high power IR diodes and disappointing IR lenses, an FPGA, a monster shield, pattern recognition cameras, neopixels for a particular purpose, RFID and 433 MHz stuff, a good SDR dongle and a LoRa surprise. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true and if you want to order one of these parts, please use the link in the description. You pay the same price and in addition you support the channel. Thank you for that. Bye.